I haven't been able to sleep the same since that day. I want a rematch. <laughs> oh man! Probably thinking, hey Nick, what's up with the white uniform? Well, today we're gonna be going on bike Okay, in order to do bike patrol, you have to be bike certified. How do you become bike certified? Well, you go to a bike class that's put on here at the City of Miami Police Department. Now, before you go to bike class, you have to go to bike tryouts. So right now, there's a bike tryout going on. We're stopping by real quick so I can show you guys a little bit onto what it takes to get to the next step, which is the bike class. Alright, so we're here with Lieutenant Gill. Lieutenant Gill, how you doing? Good, how are you? Okay, and you're in charge of the bike school, right? Yes, sir. Okay, um, and this here is the bike school tryout, I guess? These are the uh, bike uh, tryouts for uh, the upcoming uh, school. Uh, the tryouts consist of 12 laps uh, within 12 minutes. If any of the officers uh, fail or not uh, maintain that time, we'll have a makeup uh, next week. Okay. So no, I'm just asking. It's raining now. So if we, it rains, we continue. <clears throat> when it's raining, we're training. Yes. Yeah. Details don't stop because it's raining either. So okay, you gotta bear the elements out here in South Florida. You never know what you're gonna get. So here in Florida, it was raining about two minutes ago. And now it's not. That's the way we are in Florida. <laughs> One minute's raining. One minute to drive. Here we have the serpentine drill. Uh, we're going to uh, instruct the officers how to go through cones to mimic going through pedestrians, traffic, cars uh, in an urban environment. So uh, we teach them how to the proper way to go through a serpentine. They have to do it twice. If uh, they pass uh, twice, then they go to the next stage. All right, guys, Officer Labrador. I know he's not gonna let me down because he was my trainee at one point. So I know he's not gonna let me down. Okay. I taught him everything I know. I taught him everything I know. I taught him everything I know. Get back! Get back! Get back! Get back! Get back. What do we got going on here? We're teaching the officers or the uh, how to properly uh, gain control of your bike and move a crowd. So for this obstacle, they have to complete back and forth yeah, to they pass. Have to go all the way back uh, 50 yards and come all the way back down. Okay. One more, uh, one more test that we're going to uh, uh, provide the officers with for the actual class. Of course, we're going to uh, provide them with a gas mask. They're going to have to ride uh, three or four laps with a gas mask on to get them uh, ready for the actual class. Uh, we are going to use a gas mask in the class to uh, mimic any uh, civil rest or a fuel force uh, exercises and so they can feel comfortable with the gas in, in the event that we have to respond to a civil disturbance or any situation within the city of Miami. Say that again? During bike school, there will be gas being deployed. Okay. The doors open up, so it's gonna hurt a little, but we're all good. We'll be there with you. Whatever you guys do, we're gonna do with you. That means, that means we're gonna do, we're gonna do that as well. All right, these guys all passed. They're gonna move on to the bike school. We're gonna cover the bike school in a later vlog. Uh, now we're gonna head back to the station. Thank, thank, thank you, OT, for shedding some knowledge. I can't go out there because I'm wearing white. We're gonna head back to the office now. It's raining. We'll wait for the rain to clear up and then we'll go out and do some bike patrol. It's vlog day? It's not vlog day. What's today? It's vlog day. It's vlog day. <laughs> you wanna talk to me? 
<laughs> Hold on. Oh, you saw me in the Running Man Challenge? Yeah. You liked it? Oh, yeah, of course. All right, we're going to take a picture. Oh, she's your daughter's coming too? Hello, everybody. Oh, sorry, she's on the phone. T I'm sorry, sir. That was. Richard? Wow! Is it Dot Man? No, working. We gotta be quiet. Yeah. Caesar, what's up? All right, guys, I'm gonna head out now to meet up with one of the bike officers, one of the beat officers. Tisha, you coming with me? No. All right. Well, I'm out of here, Sarge. You coming with us? We'll meet you over. That's what he always says. All right, guys, I was in the elevator, and look who I found. It's Officer McCrink, you might know from the Running Man Challenge. Hey, Nick! Yeah. Running Man Challenge? Yeah! 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 Hey, how you doing? And now he's doing the bike challenge to raise money for kids with cancer. Here's our, our, our bike vlog, but it's raining out. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, yesterday we got rained out, but today we are back at it again. We're going to be going on bike patrol. We got Officer Saud here. He's in the back getting his bike ready. Officer Saud! Hey, what's up Nick? What's up man? How you doing bro? Alright. Well, what, what are we going to be doing today? We're doing a little bit of uh, bike patrolling. Okay, bike patrolling. That's right. Well, are we ready to go? Ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's ready? do it. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Are they ready? Are you guys ready? I think they're ready. Let's do it. Alright, let's go. Is this what you do on a daily basis? No, this is what I sometimes do. Okay. I'm a neighborhood resource officer for the Corway Net area. Okay. Um, every once in a while I get on the bike and try to, a different type of patrol. Okay. What kind of bike are you riding? Right now I'm riding a Trek. It's a regular bike. It just has uh, police stickers and uh, some extra equipment that the police. So you don't have like a souped up uh, engine? <laughs> <laughs> souped up legs. I guess patrolling on a bike has its benefits. Patrolling on a bike is, is different, it's great. Sometimes we get to uh, come up onto individuals um, that don't expect to see us on bikes, so we get to surprise them, give them an uh, element of surprise. Even though you're wearing a uniform? Yeah, they really don't even pay attention to a uniform. Oh, okay. Uh, bad guys are looking for the police cars. And also on the bike, we get to uh, be more interactive with the public, and the public loves seeing, seeing us on bikes. Uh, the, the flag is down, we stop to talk to them, and everybody's happy to see us, the kids love to see us. All right, so Officer Saud, yep. I got a question for you. Go ahead. I'm pretty sure you get this a lot, but when you make an arrest, what do you put them on your handlebars? Oh! <laughs> you get that question a lot. You get that question all the time. Yeah. We, do, we put them right up here. Yeah. And, uh, it's a hard ride to the station, but yeah. we get them there. Now we call a unit to come by and uh, and pick them up for us. All right. So, do you have a police car? Yes, I do. Oh, I, I have a police car. I take my bike on it, and uh, just like everybody else, every once in a while, I get out of a police car and ride my bike. Okay. Awesome. So, you want to continue going? I'm so. Where are we going? Coral Way. Away? Okay. Is that a street? All right, one of the main streets in uh, in Coralway. Coralway, that's why they call it Coralway. So, so it's called Coralway. We're gonna go down this alleyway over here. All right, so where are we headed? Uh, right now we're gonna head down to Eighth Street, uh, also known as Calle Ocho. Uh, there's a lot of tourists down there and hopefully uh, we can prevent any criminal activity from occurring. Alright, so a lot of people on foot? A lot of people on foot. Yeah, so the bike gives us a great opportunity to <laughs> maneuver around them. Oh uh, uh, look, there goes Sarge. Sarge is riding around, providing us with some visual shots. We see you Sarge, trying to be sneaky. But yeah, some of the footage here, since I'm mounted here on the, um, on the bike with the Gorilla Pod. I'm taking it on and off, so it's a little tricky. But anyways, we're headed to Calle Ocho. Yes, we are. All right, let's go. Ready to go? Oh, 
All right, we got some visitors from New Jersey, and they're our fellow brothers and sisters. We got Lieutenant. Joe Tomazic, nice to meet you. What department are you in? Marlboro Township. And? Uh, Callan Figueroa. How you doing? Nick, Miami Police, it's Officer Saud. Nice to meet you. All right, these guys are visiting down. Yeah. Visiting Cayocho, so far so good? Well, everything's beautiful. Alright. You saw the Running Man Challenge we did? The Running Man Challenge is by far the best one. That guy's pretty good on uh, whoever that guy was. Change the glory of Stefan, that's the best. Yeah. Better than NYPD, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Ten times better. Uh. We still love you, NYPD. <laughs> I'm Saud. I heard you talking about some stuff that uh, happened a long time ago. How many years have you been on the department? 24 years. 24 years. Has police work changed since you got on? Yes. Drastic. Really? Yes. We've gotten more modernized. Now we're full of computers. When I came on, there was barely one computer to every 100 officers. Now every single officer has a computer. Uh, we all have police cars now. Back then, we would have to uh, come into the police station and look you guys for a police car. You guys will ride horses? <laughs> 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 we had the six shooters back then and... That's right, horse around here. Black and white TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, when I was on PST, this is the area I used to work. Officer Saul was on PST as well. We did a lot of street level narcotics, and we came around the corner here, and we saw what appeared to be a hand-to-hand -hand transaction. It was like consistent to like a drug deal or, or a narcotics deal. So uh, we did an investigative stop. This guy here who was ex accepting the money, he was a known drug dealer in the area. So well, we stopped and did an investigation. The guy who received the money was carrying $50 all in fives, which is, which is consistent with uh, drug dealing. So there was no narcotics here. Um, usually how it works is that the guy will receive the money and then he'll go to another location where the drugs are at, get the drugs, bring them back, and give it to the, uh, the buyer. Turns out no narcotics here. And then apparently they didn't know each other. So one guy not knowing another guy giving them $50, they said, no, I don't know that guy. So. I guess uh, he was just being nice. So we're gonna continue riding around, see if we get something else. I was coming, we smelled a little bit of uh, marijuana, and then she's just holding a joint in her hand so came up and I was standing about two feet away from her and I can see that there was weed inside the marijuana cigarette and uh, you know she's out here on the corner so you know there's kids walking around look you got kids bouncing balls walking around so you're out here on the corner smoking weed you got little kids walking around you know it's kind of brazen to be out here just sitting on the corner so so we're in this area, is this area known for narcotics? This area is extremely known for high level street sales of narcotics on a continuous basis. And also robberies and shootings, homicides, homicides have occurred here because of drug sales. All right, so it's kind of a zero tolerance. But we try. All right, so what about the marijuana that we found in her possession? Well, right now what we got is a small amount of marijuana. So it's uh, our discretion to either physically arrest her and take her to jail or do a promise to appear. What we're gonna do is run a background check on her. If everything pans out, she has no warrants, what we'll do is a promise to appear. Okay, so she's cooperating now with yeah, us? Yeah, right now she's been cooperating, everything's good. So we're gonna do a computer check on her and see what we find out. All right, sounds good. Introduce yourself. I'm Officer Roger Cabrera, I work with Little Havana Problem Solving Team. All right, Little Havana PST. So, um, is it okay, We everything checked out with her because we were planning on a uh, promise to appear? Unfortunately not. Uh, this is the defendant over here for today. Um, she has two warrants. She has two warrants? From yesterday. Oh, she finally missed court yesterday. Okay, she what, the pressure what were yesterday. the warrants for? Uh, well, first one's going to be for driving while I suspended with knowledge. Okay. And the other one's going to be for DUI. For DUI, okay. 
All right, so she's gonna have to go to jail today. She's gonna take a trip to see the judge. All right. Well, we appreciate you uh, coming by, doing your thing. This is the proactive team of Little Havana. Thank you. Deals with this on a daily basis, right? All right, guys, backup has arrived. Go ahead and introduce yourself. This is Hernandez, Little Havana PST team. Little Havana PST is gonna help us out here. He's and um, is this a high narcotics area? Yes, it is. All right, you're out here patrolling. Yes, I am. Taking care of business. Yep. What are you? That was a good arrest. Not a large amount of drugs you guys found. Well, thank you, sir. I do appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you. We'll see you later, bro. You got it. Thank All you. Right. All right, guys, so myself and Officer Saud, we were riding the bike down here. We noticed a, another guy riding a bike. Uh, once he noticed that we were police officers, he quickly got on his phone. Looked like he was contacting somebody. And as we were coming past this alley, there was another guy on the phone here. He was looking down on his phone. He looked up, saw us, and you know, got startled. Made a quick U-turn and started walking back down the alley. And that right there just is like, you know, unusual behavior. It calls for an investigation. So we went down the alley. We confronted the guy. And as we were going down the alley, we could just smell it. You smell yeah, it. yeah, big time. The odor was incredible. Yeah, they smell the odor of uh, raw marijuana. Went back there, conducted an investigation, and, and we saw what we got out of it. So, all right. All right, so you can see it was a pretty good catch. Uh, we got a good size of mar marijuana. And it goes to show you, the bikes really do work. Uh, we could have missed it if we were in a car. Yeah, I agree. So, hey, look, bike patrol. All right, guys, that was a long day of bike patrol. Pretty good. We got two arrests, right? Yep, two, two good arrests. All right, uh, thanks for showing us how to proactively patrol on bikes. All right, anytime. Thanks for coming out with us. Yeah, so it's not like uh, uh, when you ride around on the beach and you get a nice no, tan. No, def have, definitely not cruising around. We're out here, we're working and patrolling every day out here for you guys. All right, okay, all right. Well, thanks for having us. Uh, we welcome back. Anytime. Let's do it again. We can come back again, guys. Let's do it again. So we can come back again. All right, so don't forget. Don't forget, like us, share us. Subscribe. Don't forget to like us, share us, subscribe. Yes, and we'll see you on next vlog. Adios.